Hello everybody, my name is Minkaro and welcome to Fingerbones. Now Fingerbones is, as it says here, a psychological horror game by David Szymanski. I hope I pronounced that name right. So, I've said before that I'm not a big fan of horror, horror games, horror films, horror anything. Um, that game just exited, exited itself. But really that's because I don't particularly like jump scares. Now this is meant to be a game where it's more about the um, well, psychological aspect of it. You know, it, it's meant to make you uneasy uh, rather than jump at, jump out at you. So I'm going to have a look at it. I'm going to escape to toggle the screen. And I, I believe the idea is to sort of look around this room for me. There's the exit. We're not going to leave because that would be slightly pointless of cobwebs there. I can do anything with that. Let me just double check. Yeah, it's the left mouse button to interact. Just making sure because the last game I played was the E button. Oh! When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. Okay. Is this the cellar? Not sure that is. Can I open the drawer perhaps? No. Chairs in the way. Oh, that looks like it might be something. It appears to be a page from a manuscript. Pop morality is too reliant on emotions and not reliant enough on rational thought. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is a farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral. Now, that looks like um, somebody is trying to justify something that they're thinking of doing or that they've done, which doesn't fill me with much confidence, I must say. So we've got, I'm just gonna go back, hover back over that. Yeah, the thing, the, the dot widens when I can actually interact with something, so that's what I should be looking out for. Oh, uh, I've got a torch. So can I take that to the cobwebbed area over here, maybe there'll be something I've missed. No, it wasn't actually that dark over there, was it? But this part of the room is quite dark. So let's just see. Ah, we've got another page here. I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker. But whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She's like her mother. A delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Okay, so I think we need to find out what the daughter's name actually is. Because I'm sure we're going to be able to... We're going to be using that as a code at some point. It's this here. I've got a button. I've done something. I've done a thing. What is the thing that I've done? Oh, it's like a generator type thing, is it? Oh! It's a door. Let's just have a look at the centre of the room, because I've, I've gone around the outside. I haven't actually... The knife. Can't interact with them. Probably best I can't. It's my weekend to get Kate, Katie. Okay. But I'm really not in the mood. I distracted her with a TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. 
I couldn't write anything more than a usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. Because I am not depressed, I am enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Okay, so this guy's grip on reality isn't quite as it should be, obviously. But we know the daughter is called Katie, so we're going to try and use Katie as a door code over here. Please? Just checking that to see if I can... Okay, why can't I open you? Oh! Now there's something over here that's looking... Was that... Red before? Ah! Okay. So what, we can type in... Katie. And is that going to open this up for me? Let's head over here. I mean, I typed it all in lower case there. Yeah, I, I need to type it as it should be. Let me, wait, let me just double check this. K-T-I-E, yeah. Okay, why are you saying that's wrong? Because it isn't wrong. I, 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 yeah, I read that one. That primal urge is in the cellar. Oh! It's let me in. Okay. Now, if there were going to be jump scares in this game, this is probably where they'd be. But we're, we know where. We've come this far. So we'll carry on. It's finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams. And when the ashes settle, we will all be wild animals again. I am ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead, for all I know, or care. But Katie was here when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and inane social values. Just pure... Beautiful survival. This guy is odd. Very odd. Katie isn't going to be in here, is she? There's another door here. Which I can't get into. So what have I got here? I can't open that either. Oh, this might be. I boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that went for scientific edification. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just pile them up near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyway. Okay, so is this what happened to Katie? Right, we've got we've got one here. Can I can't let me interact with it? The tour room has been her name for years now. I can't bring myself to change it. Right, I think we've got to do another password thing using that keyboard upstairs. I think, wait, let me... So I'm, I'm trying to turn around to go back this way. Uh, let me just double check this. Yeah, I think this next password is going to be Lynn. So we're going to head back up here. I'm going to type Lin into the keyboard. Okay, so hopefully that's opened that up. It was our wide of land, wasn't it? No E on the end. We'll soon find out. Here we go and click to open this door. Now that's let us in. Right, okay, so we're in here. This is a tool room. Just going to try and hover around everything. 
forgot over here. Oh, there's another bit of paper here. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing picture and was barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again and it helps break up the monotony. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. This guy isn't a very good father, is he? There are things I've wanted to do for years. Desires I've kept locked up in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman and now I realise there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up. Ah. Yeah. I think we can work out what's happened here. Um, there's a little corner round here. I'm just going to check that. I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember. N N Y. The rest of the word is missing. So this will be the storage room, I take it. Do we... Words? I mean noises? Do we not? N N Y. I'm just going to go back to that. And it's the first half of that word that's missing. Nothing around here that I can do anything with. N N Y. No, is this his name? Perhaps. I haven't seen anything that ends in N N Y. Danny, maybe. Oh, nothing happened. So that works. It makes a kind of buzzing noise when it works. So Danny, um, Fanny, um, I'm going by the, the, the name basis, Benny. Not Benny. Um, Manny. No. Um, I'm trying to think of words that end in N N Y. Jenny. Hey. Not Jenny. Ginny. No. Ginny would be within. Why wouldn't it? Johnny could be. We'll try it with the H and without the H. Um, N N Y. It ends in. Johnny. I think that's usually with an I. Oh, hang on a minute. Let me just. Lean backwards. Yeah. So we've opened up that next door. You're sloping so yeah, good. So I typed that um, code in a couple of times, didn't I? So this is open. Uh, we've got another here. I am a bag of DNA and I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demand reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and protect their genes. Dreams, loves, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence, Figments of our collective primordial imagination. Fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synapses for a pointless moment in time. They used to serve a purpose, and now they are needless confusion. 
and here I am, the last man on earth for all I know, ready to, ready to be freed from them. Okay, that tells me... No, oh, hello, there's a switch. So has that opened up the... thing here, perhaps? No. So what's that done? So. Is that all I can do? Wait, it's freedom a password, maybe. Well, it's buzzed. It's buzzed, so... Um, let's try the hatch. I'm not sure I really want to try the hatch, based on what we've read about so far. Oh, okay. So we're down at the bottom of here. There's only enough food for... One. There's only enough food for one, so she's going to die anyway. And I'm free now. Freedom. It took the end of all humanity for me to find freedom. And our light's gonna go off very soon. Oh, God. Seems to have been torn from a diary. She finally died last night. I don't know if from starvation, dehydration or blood loss, I threw her bodies into the woods. Her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts, my testaments to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in a safe upstairs. I am content in the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died and he was left in the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could he still hear her, even now. It was peaceful here in the cellar. It was free in the cellar. That's fucked up. Um, yeah, probably should put a warning in this video, um, somewhere around this video, um, no content warning, uh, it's dark, and not just because the flashlight's gone out, that is, that is dark, I really need to play some happier games, um, thank you for watching, <laughs> take care and goodbye.